Hey guys, another Silent Castle, Silent Castle variety here. Uh, this talk is going to be about uh, Hammond Collection, Jurassic World Hammond Collection. Uh, oh man, where do I start? So, from the first part of the year, we had a, uh, I forget what year Hammond Collection started, but it's been a big Jurassic product for Mattel, and they've done so well with, um, they've done so well with the, uh, uh, product so much, like, they made the Baryonyx, the Parasolophus, the uh, Pachycephalosaurus, uh, Velociraptors, I mean, we got the Jurassic Park 3 female raptor, which I thought we would never get in any figure line. Uh, we got finally Rexy uh, in the Hammond Collection with super articulation, that figure. If you guys have not, uh, you guys probably all have one and stuff like that. But if you guys don't, I highly recommend that figure because it is one of the coolest figures that I've ever put my hands on. Um, and, uh, on July 22nd, the Brachiosaurus, uh, Hammond Clutch Brachiosaurus, that one comes out in July 22nd, and it hits Target stores, and I may grab it, I'm not sure. Then, uh, we have... Uh, right down the line, uh, probably our next big figure if this Mattel crowdfund doesn't get enough crowdfund, which it really looks like it's not really going to. Um, that means that it looks like the Hammond Collection will bring out the Hammond Collection Lost World Buck T Rex because that figure I am very excited for. I saw it during their live stream. It looks amazing, like real amazing. Um, I was thinking about repainting mine because I have two of the Hammond Collection Rexes. But if you guys got any uh, uh, videos or anything like that in the comments, like shoot me out a comment, like send me a video to where. Uh, Send me a video to where, uh, uh, to where I can watch and see if I can do it. But, uh, Mattel came out with the Lost World Hand Collection T-Rex, which I was really astounded by it. It's a new head sculpt. Uh, it's basically everything's new on it, which makes me very happy that they're actually listening to the fans and, like, actually, like, making the figures of what the fans want. Uh, with me personally, I would like to see, uh, the Hammond Collection, uh, Indominus, uh, Spinosaurus, uh, Giga, like, I would love to see a Giga, I do think they would do very well with a Giga, um, I, I mean, that, how well they're doing these figures, like, for example, the Ankylosaurus, that was the best looking Ankylosaurus toy that I have ever put my hands on, really. That's like second best. Just because of like the detail and like so much articulation on that figure, like even including on the heads, like some of the heads on them dinosaurs, like you you can't do that on any other dinosaur figure that I can think of except the uh, um, real feel 1993 refill uh t-rex that came out this year and let me say that that toy right there is really amazing i mean they did a good job with that toy uh but i would like to see hammond collection do a jurassic park 3 uh pteranodon with their hammond collection just because they did geosternbergia with the Lost World, it was an amazing pterodactyl figure. 
Like, it was one of the hands-down best pteranodons I've ever witnessed. Because uh, I collected the amber collection as well. And I have the dimor uh, dimorphodons and uh, pteranodon from Jurassic Park 3. The only thing that's a problem is, is that uh, the articulation and the wings, uh, you can't really get it to set up real well like you can with the Geostormbergia. Like, the Geostormbergia was like amazing when I had it. And I like the way how they're like making the dinosaurs from that weren't exact, that they were in a movie, but you never saw them. Like, Metricanthosaurus, Irritator, uh, let's see here, uh, Concavenator, like that was a really cool seat, see, actually when Bionic Gates announced it, I was like, wow, they're actually making the Concavenator and Corythosaurus, and I mean, that line, this line so far has been really great this year with the Hammond, uh, I really hope that, um, there's just a lot, like Jurassic Park 3, Pteranodon, Dominus, Spino, Giga, uh, I would love to see the Atrociraptors in the Hammond collection, even though they didn't get a lot of screen time, but who knows, guys, I mean, next year, uh, Hammond collection, Carnotaurus, uh, like to thank Procroc, actually, for, uh, um, announcing that when it first came out before Collect Jurassic and uh, a couple others. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, he had it on his channel and I watched his channel a lot. Um, when I saw the Carnotaurus, it looked really amazing, really good paint. Actually, like they're actually starting to put glass eyes into the medium figures, which in my opinion, they should have done that from the get-go. I really hope that they do the Ballad Big Rock Allosaurus from Ballad Big Rock. That would be an amazing figure to go along with the Carnotaurus. Um, they said that uh, Blue is coming in the line, uh, Dimetrodon, uh, which I really think that with the Dimetrodons, I really think that those would be a really cool Hammond Collection figure. Now, with the articulation, I mean, there would probably be very little just because it's, I mean, you can only do it so much. Um, then you have, uh, I think, the Tiger Raptor. Um, and then it said Velociraptor 2. So, I mean, if they're making the Blue, Charlie, Echo, and Delta, that would be an amazing thing. Um, then we have the Ed Montasaurus, and then right at the end, they said the Indominus Rex at the end for next year. And if all of this comes true, then we might be actually guys getting an Indominus Rex Hammond collection, and that right there would be an amazing, amazing figure. Because I got the Dino Tractors and Dominus Rex, and let me tell you, I love the rubber teeth. Like, the rubber teeth, and it, they're not hard to where they're, you can damage the paint and stuff. It's an amazing figure. I love the roaring noise. I love the camouflage in the figure. That figure is just mind-blown to me. Um, I wouldn't mind either, uh, like the video too, if, uh, you guys think if they should do a Bees Not a Source, I wouldn't mind seeing a Hammond collection of that. Like, I believe that, I mean, really, to be honest with you, we already have a pretty articulated Bees Not a Source in the Dominion line, and when they first put out the toys for that, I was just like, wow, there's actually a Bees Not a Source that actually you can turn the head and move the claws and stuff like that. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah. Um, I really enjoy the Hammond Collection so far. Like, uh, not this month, but, like, 
I think there's two months. There's two Hammond collections that have two of them on there that have two items. And then way at the end, I don't know if it's September or October, I'm not sure, but there's one item and I know Collect Jurassic and like I watch Collect Jurassic a lot and I'm a big fan of his. Um, I watch his openings and stuff like that and his news videos and I just really enjoy him. Like he's a really cool guy when he comes to like does his reviews and um, what would be really cool is, is that, um, if Mattel, is Mattel's always, like, asking fans, what do you guys want, like, me, I wouldn't mind, like, an adult Stegosaurus, like, in a Sticky Moloch from Fallen Kingdom, like, I believe they could do a pretty good Sticky Moloch figure just from the paint detail I had with the packing. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, the Hammond Collection, so far, it's doing real well in the community with everything, and I don't really, I really hope that crowdfund really doesn't go through, just because of some stuff I've heard that if crowdfund goes through, we probably won't see that Buck T-Rex probably ever again because it's with that set and I mean the gauge yes those are really cool the uh, fencing uh, like I think they said that uh, you could do the iconic scene to where uh, Rexy broke out and you can have her step down on the wires but I don't know how uh, low those wires are but I'd have to re-watch the video but I'm just saying guys Hammond Collection uh, Especially with the uh, uh, Brachiosaurus. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on the Legacy Collection with the, the Bull T-Rex and uh, Ian Malcolm and a special car that they drove. Uh, and plus the uh, Jurassic Park Chaos Pack with uh, the big fence and Robert Muldoon and his co-workers like... Even the Raptor Eye glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of good stuff coming out this year. Um, but that would probably be the only sauropod that me and myself will probably only buy. Because the Brachiosaurus is an iconic dinosaur. And I really don't really care much about the other uh, sauropods as of right now just because like they take up so much space they're so big and the brachiosaurus that they made in a hammond collection like it's going to stand out in the collection for sure so yeah um i appreciate you guys listening in on this uh uh hammond collection talk and uh hopefully mattel uh listen to the fans more and i can't wait to see what beyond the gates uh has in store for us for the last three items for the hammock collection that's going to be a really amazing thing but if i had to guess guys i'm not saying it's true but if i had to take a guess since it is jurassic park's 30th anniversary i could see them going into um doing the goat and like putting it along with it and just because it's it's a go and the goat looked pretty good um even the signs like i didn't see him do the signs um but really in all, all honesty i really don't know what they could possibly bring out uh but with the one hammond collection would probably be the Buck T-Rex because at the start of the year, Collect Jurassic said that there was going to be another T-Rex. So I was thinking more along the lines of uh, Rexy or uh, another Rexy figure that probably has like battle scars. But 
when I saw that Mattel Creations thing, they brought out the Buck T-Rex, and that looked really good. But it still has the same articulation as the Tyrannosaurus that we got from the past, but like rubber gums, and but it's a brand new head sculpt, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Silent Cast Variety, out.